Hello. Hello. Nathan, good night. Good night, good night. Yeah, good night, man. Hi. Let's go, yeah. let's go. Good night, How you doing? How you doing? Time, man. Everything all right? Yeah, Hello. man, everything good, good, man. God bless. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, Mr. Moulton. Happy good night, birthday. Mr. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate you all, my family. Yes, yes. Sorry. Oh, Mr. John. I was trying to come on a while ago, and it was telling me that it was not the right <laughs> number. <laughs> I don't know yes, what went that, wrong. Is that what she wants your mouth? Uh, Pardon, pardon me? Yes, yeah, sometimes it does that to me too. Okay, okay. Glory to God. Hope everyone has had a great day today. Yes, yeah. we're alive and well with the grace of God. Glory we're just to having God. life and, and we, can, we can eat and, you know, have quench our thirst. That's wonderful. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, we are still in the land of the living. Yep. Yeah. Tonight, as we come together for our prayer meeting and Bible study, I just want to give God thanks for another Wednesday evening. Yeah. It is indeed a privilege that we can be gathered together again mm -hmm. online, you know, giving God thanks. And we come together this evening to to praise him, to worship him, to not like him. We come together tonight to seek his face. You know, we know that we can come to our God. And we know that when we come to him and when we call upon him, he hears us. And he not only hears us, but he answers us. And so tonight as we gathered together, hallelujah, I just want to start out by singing this song, This is your house. Father, come and dwell. Glory to God. This is your house. Father, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely bring their burdens and their care. This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell. This is your house. Father, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely bring their burdens and their care. This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell one more time. This is your house. Father, come and dwell. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely bring their burdens and their care. This is your house. This is your house. Come and dwell. Where the lost 
and the lonely bring their burdens and their care. This is your house. This is your house. Lord, come and dwell. Come and dwell. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your house, Lord. This is indeed your house. Hallelujah. Lord, though we may not be in the building tonight, Lord, we are in our different homes, oh God. But Lord, indeed, we declare, oh Father, because Lord, our body is, oh Lord, the temple where you dwell, where your spirit dwell. And we say, Lord, come and dwell tonight. This is your house. Come and dwell, Lord. Come and dwell, Lord, in our midst tonight, Lord. Come and have your way in our midst tonight, Lord. Heavenly Father and our God, we come before you tonight, Lord. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. There is none like none to you tonight. There is none who can be compared to you, for you are God all by yourself. Oh, Lord, as we come tonight, Lord, we just want to magnify you, oh, God. Lord, mm-hmm. we lift your name and high tonight, your glorious name, your marvelous name. Hallelujah. Your name, which is above all name. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we praise you. We send up praises tonight, Lord. We come before you with adoration and thanksgiving, Lord. Oh, you are worthy of our praises you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be adored oh there is none like none to you tonight in the heavens and in the earth on beneath the earth for you are God all by yourself hallelujah hallelujah worthy is your name Lord worthy is your name oh Lord we bless you Lord our soul magnify you our soul bless you tonight our soul lift you up oh God hallelujah we bow down before other God, but you, the true and living God, you are Jehovah God, hallelujah, you are our righteousness, hallelujah, oh God, we love on you tonight, merciful Father, we love on you tonight, our Father, we love on you tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah, worthy, oh Lord, worthy are you to be praised, mighty God, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same, you are worthy worthy to be praised, O God. You are our God. You are our God. You are our deliverer. You are our strength. You are our way maker. You are our promise keeper. And tonight, Lord, we have all right to worship you, Lord. We have all reason to give you praise and adoration, O God. We have all reason, Lord God, to give you thanks, O God, for your goodness towards us, for your grace, for your mercies, O Lord. O Lord, for your loving kindness, for you have been good to us, Lord. You have been good to us, Lord. You are a great, great Father. You are a great God. You are the true and living God. You are Jehovah God. Oh, Lord, we come tonight, Lord, to worship you. Lord, we come to adore you. We come to lift up your name. We come to magnify you, Lord. We come tonight to prostrate before you, Father. Oh, hallelujah, our Father, our Father. Oh, God, we thank you tonight for the privilege that we have in you, in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord. Oh, God, that we can come boldly to your throne, oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you tonight, Lord. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Lord, my God. Oh, Father, that tonight, Lord, you have spared us, Lord. You have kept us, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you for the the mighty way that you have brought us from tonight, Lord, that, Lord, we can come together, oh, God, as your children, to worship and to adore you, Lord. We choose to worship you tonight, Lord, for, Lord, you seek a true worshipers, Lord, and so tonight, as we come, we come lifting up your name. We come tonight, Lord, with assurance, oh, God, that the God we are crying out to, the God that we are worshiping, you are the true and living God. You are Jehovah. 
Jehovah God. There is no God like Jehovah God. There is none who can sustain us like you do, Lord. There is none who can comfort us like you do. Oh, you are the forgiver of sins. Hallelujah. Oh, you are so merciful. You are so kind. You are so loving and compassionate, Lord. Lord, oh God, you tonight, Lord, are greater, greater than any other tonight, Lord. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you tonight that we can run into you, Lord, for the righteous run into you and they are safe, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for freedom. Thank you, Lord, oh God, that we can come together tonight, Lord, in our different homes, oh God, to worship you, Lord. We do not have to go into hiding, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We are not hiding tonight to call upon your name. What a liberty. What a freedom tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy are you tonight, Lord. Worthy are you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bow down before you, Lord. We give you our worship, Lord. Hallelujah. For you are the true and living God. You are Jehovah God. There is none like none to you, Lord. There is no other like you tonight. There is no other who can love us like you do. There is no other tonight, Lord. There is no salvation in any other tonight but you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we can come boldly to your throne. Tonight, Lord, we are so blessed, Lord. We are so blessed. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you for your many manifold blessings upon our lives. Oh, God, for pouring out upon us, Lord, for your goodness, Lord, for your grace and your mercies, your kindness towards us. Lord, your gentleness towards us, your compassion towards us, oh God. Hallelujah. We are rejoicing tonight, Lord. Oh, mighty God, we are rejoicing tonight, Father. Mighty God, we are grateful. We come to you with a grateful heart. Oh, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, for the many blessings, oh God, that you have poured out upon us, Lord. We thank you for the many doors that you have opened up for us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight for choosing us out of this world, for you have chosen us, Lord. We did not choose ourselves, oh Lord. We thank you for washing us and for cleansing us, Lord, for purifying our hearts tonight, Lord, that we can come before you rejoicing. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a savior. What a savior you are. Hallelujah. There is none like you, Jesus. There is none like you, loving Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you for going to the cross for us, Lord. Thank you for laying down your life, for no one took it away from you, but you laid down your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You were crucified. Hallelujah. You were, you were, you were spat upon, Lord. You were ridiculed. Hallelujah. You were flogged with many stripes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, but you did not open your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight, Lord. We thank you for the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we come to tonight, Lord, knowing that you are no longer in the tomb, but tonight you are seated at the right hand of your Father, making intercession for us, your people, oh God. Oh, we are so grateful. We appreciate you, Lord, for all that you have done for us, oh God. Lord, we are grateful. We do not have lips tonight to tell you how much we are grateful. And oh, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for us tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a friend we have in you tonight, Lord. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege, Lord, to carry everything to you in prayer tonight, Lord. Father, here we are tonight, another Wednesday night, which you have given unto us, Lord, that we can come before you to seek your face, O God. Father, you know it, our hearts tonight, Lord. There is no heart that you don't know tonight, Lord. Mighty God, there is nothing, O God, that is hidden about us from you, Lord God. You know it, our frame. Lord, you know it, our inward man. Lord, my God, you know it, our thoughts tonight, Lord. O God, you know our 
failures, oh God. You know when we are doing well. Oh, mighty God, you know when we are not doing well. But tonight as we come, Lord, we come before you, Lord, with a with a grateful heart. And we come tonight, Lord, with an open heart before you, Lord, because we cannot hide from you, Lord. And so tonight, Lord, we ask as we come in the name of Jesus that you will search our hearts, oh God. Lord, my God, we ask tonight that you will purify your our hearts, oh God. Lord, we ask tonight that you'll forgive us of our sins. Lord, anything that will hinder our prayers tonight, Lord, Lord, we put it at the foot of the cross, oh God, and we ask tonight that you'll wash us and that you'll cleanse us, Lord, oh God, we ask that you remove every hindrance tonight to our prayers, oh God, Lord, we come to seek your face, we want to hear from you, Lord, oh God, your your word tell us, Lord God, in Second Chronicles 7, verse 14, that Lord, if your people, Lord, which are called by your name, Lord, we will only humble ourselves, Lord, and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. Lord, you said you will hear and you will answer, oh God. Lord, we humble ourselves before you tonight. We come before you with a humble heart, oh God. And we ask tonight that you'll forgive us of our sins, oh God, where we have failed, Lord, where we have fall short, oh God. We ask tonight that you'll forgive us. We ask tonight that you'll cleanse us, Lord. Oh God, help us tonight, Lord. My God, we are weak, but you are strong. Oh Lord, we ask that you'll hold us with your powerful hands tonight, Lord. Oh God, you see us individually tonight and collectively, Lord. Lord, you know every heart, oh God. For Lord, when we can hide from man, oh God, we cannot hide from you. Lord, you know it all things about us, you who created us in your own image and in your own likeness, oh God, Lord, we cannot hide from you. So we come tonight, Lord, and we come with a repentive heart, oh God, Lord, we come to seek your face, oh God. And so tonight, Lord, we ask, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch us tonight, God, Lord, oh God, we ask that, Lord, you will intervene. Oh, Father, we ask that you'll minister to us tonight, Lord as we come before you, Lord. We come with a broken heart tonight, Lord. Oh, Father, we ask tonight, Lord, that you remove any selfishness from us, Lord. Oh, God in heaven, we ask tonight, Lord, oh, God, where we are not walking according to your word, according, Lord God Almighty, to your precepts, Lord. Oh, God, and that which you have given, oh, God, your commandments to follow after. Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, Lord, we ask that you forgive us and help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, tonight that we will walk, oh Lord, in your footsteps. Lord, we will walk according to your word, according to your commandments, Lord. Oh God, where we have failed tonight, Lord, we ask that you'll forgive us, Lord, where we have been disobedient, Lord, to your commandment. Lord, we ask that you'll forgive us, Lord, where, Lord God Almighty, we have not been doing well. Oh God, we cannot hide from you tonight. We make and hide from man, but we cannot hide from you, Lord. So we ask that you'll forgive us of our transgressions, Lord. And we ask, Lord God, that you'll help us, Lord, to do that which is pleasing before you, Father. We are weak, Lord, but you are strong. Lord, strengthen us tonight, Lord. Lord, my God, we have no strength of ours, for Lord, it is in you that we live and move and have our beings. And so, Father, tonight, Lord, we are crying out to you, Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord, for your help. Oh, Lord, we cry out for your help tonight, Lord. Only you can help us, Lord. Only you, Lord God, can strengthen us, Lord. Only you can deliver us tonight, Father. Mighty God, only you tonight, Lord, oh God, can order our steps, oh God. And so, Father, as we come tonight, Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that you will touch us again. Lord, we crave for your touch, Lord. We crave for your touch, Lord. Lord, your word tells us that we should not be conformed to this world, but that we should be transformed by the renewing of our minds, oh God. Lord, only your word, your word can really, oh God, renew 
our minds. It is your word, Lord. We have to get into your word so that our minds will be renewed, so that we will be transformed, oh God, Lord, to the person that you want us to be. Oh Lord, my God, help us tonight, Jesus. Help us, Lord, to be at the place that you want us to be, Lord. Help us, Lord, to seek you, to seek you first, as your word says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Lord, your righteousness tonight, Lord, and all the other things shall be added. Lord, we have no righteousness of ours, so help us tonight, Lord, to seek you first, Lord, to put all other things behind us, O oh God, and to start after you first, Lord, to run after you, Lord, my God. Oh, Father, we ask that you'll help us. We are weak, Lord. Oh, we are crying out tonight, Lord, for your help. We are crying out for your touch tonight, Lord. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are your people, Lord. Oh, God, and we are depending upon you tonight, Lord. We are leaning upon you, Lord. Father, where we have been leaning upon our own understanding, Lord. Oh, God, help us tonight to lean upon you, Lord, to acknowledge that you are our God, to acknowledge that, God, you are our deliverer tonight, to acknowledge, oh, God, that you are the one, oh, God Almighty, that have chosen us, Lord, and we have not chosen ourselves, O oh God, to acknowledge, O oh God, that you are the true and living God, Lord, and we are to seek after you, O oh God, every day. We are to follow in the path of righteousness, Lord. Oh God, our steps must be ordered by you, Lord, that, Lord, we should be, oh God Almighty, be transformed, O oh Lord. Oh mighty God, hallelujah. We should be renewed in our minds, O oh God. Oh Lord, our thoughts must be upon you, Lord. Lord, you see our thoughts, life tonight. Father, Lord, you see the thoughts, oh God, the things that we think about, Lord, oh Lord, my God, the things that is in our hearts tonight, Father, oh God, in heaven, you know, Lord God, if our ways are pleasing to you, but tonight as we come, Lord, we ask, oh Lord, that you will cleanse us and purify us, Lord, oh God, we ask tonight that you'll raise us up, help us to arise tonight in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, help us to arise tonight, Lord, help us to take up the whole arm of God, the old armor tonight, Lord, not just a part of the armor, but the whole armor tonight, Jesus, help us, Lord, to put on the helmet of salvation, for, Lord, we have to put off, Lord, put off the things of the world, oh, God, and to put on, Lord, God Almighty, the old armor tonight, Lord, we cannot put on the old armor, Lord, when we still have the world in us, Lord, we cannot put on the old armor, Lord, when we are still walking in sin, oh, Lord, Lord, we cannot put on the old armor when we are walking in disobedience. But tonight, Father, I cry out, Lord, oh God, for us, your people, that we will, oh God, put on the old armor, to put on the helmet of salvation. Oh Lord, the breastplate of righteousness tonight, Lord. Oh Lord, taking the shield of faith, oh Lord, for the fiery darts are coming. But Lord, the shield of faith is, oh God, when we put it on, Lord, it is there, Father, God, mighty God in heaven, that when the fire and the darts come at us, oh God, it will bounce off in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, that our lines will be girded up with truth, oh Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Tonight, Lord, we ask that you'll help us to take the sword of the Spirit, Lord, which is the word of God. Oh, Lord, without your word, oh, God, we are in trouble. Lord, we need your word, Lord. Help us to get into your word. Help us, Lord, to have an appetite for your word tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us to turn your word, Lord God. Hallelujah. So that, Lord, my God, when the enemy comes, Lord, we have the word in us, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, wait, oh God, help us to study the word to show ourselves approved so that we can go out, oh Lord, oh God, to be a witness and to tell somebody, oh God, about the things, oh God Almighty, that you have done in your word and the things that you have done for us, Lord. Oh God, when we are, when we study your word, oh God, when we know your word, Lord, when the enemy comes in, Lord God, oh Father, to, to, to destroy us, Lord, we're able, oh God, to use your word, oh God. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, help us tonight, God. Help us, Lord, where we have become wayward, where we have become lazy, Lord God, when it comes to your word, Lord. Help us to rise up tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, touch your heart of your people tonight, Lord, where we have been burdened down, Lord God Almighty, with all different things sort of problems, oh God. Oh, Father, help us to run to your word. For Lord, your God, there is power in your word. Lord, there is victory in your word. There is hope in your word. There is deliverance in your word, Lord God. There is peace in your word tonight, Lord. Oh, my God, there is joy in your word. There is comfort in your word tonight, Lord. Oh, Father, if we need a word, all we have to do is to turn to your word, Lord. All we need to do is to open our Bibles, Lord, and go to your word, oh God, for your word will teach us, Lord. Your word, oh God, will bring the deliverance that we need. Your word, Lord, will bring the healing that we need. Oh God, the comfort that we need. Oh God, all of these things are in your word, oh mighty God. Father, Lord, Lord, my God, tonight as we come as your people, Lord, we ask for strength, Lord, where we are getting Week, Lord, Lord, where we where we want to give up, Lord. It is no time to give up, Lord, but it's time, Lord God Almighty, to press forward. It's time, Lord God Almighty, to continue, Lord, in your footsteps, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we cannot make it on our own. Lord, my God, without you, Lord, we are empty vessels. Without you, Lord, we are failures, oh God. Without you, Lord, that we are good for nothing. But Lord, my God, tonight we know that the greater one lives within us, Lord. And because the greater one lives within us, Lord, we can do all things through Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God, who strengthened us tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're the moment tonight, Lord. Your presence is the moment tonight, Lord. We thank you for your presence tonight, Lord. We thank you tonight for what you are doing in our midst, oh God, for what you are about to do, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we come tonight to worship you. We come to honor you. We come to exalt you. We come to lift you up tonight, oh God, for you are the great Jehovah God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We come to rejoice in you tonight, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Lord, as we seek your face tonight, Lord, oh God Almighty, we do tonight that we will get the answer, Lord. We come tonight in faith, oh God, believing and trusting in you tonight, God, that as we call upon you, Lord, my God, Lord, you will answer us, Lord. Lord, you said call upon you, and you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know, Lord. You will answer us, Lord, my God, when we call upon your father we come tonight with assurance of lord whatever that we ask of lord god oh lord in your will you will grant it unto us lord so tonight father oh lord my god i stand before you lord god we your people lord we stand before you in your presence tonight lord and we ask Oh God, for another touch from you, Lord. We ask tonight, Jesus, that, Lord, you will minister to us, Lord. Minister to those who are hurting tonight, Lord. Oh God, you know the hearts of your people. Oh God, Almighty, you know the trials. Oh God, you know the troubles tonight, Father. Oh God, you know the heartache tonight. Mighty God, I pray tonight that you'll minister to the hearts of your people. Oh God, to men and women of God tonight. Oh God, that feel like they cannot go on any further. Lord, minister to our hearts tonight, Lord. Minister to our hearts tonight, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we cast our cares upon you, for you care it for us, Lord. We cast all our burdens upon you, Lord. Oh, burdens are lifted at Calvary tonight. Lord, we cast our burdens upon you, Lord. Oh, God, you know it all things, Lord. You know it all things. You know the things that we go through, Lord, from day to day, Lord. Oh, God, you see the times that we are living in tonight, Father. Oh, mighty God in heaven, we are living in trying times, Lord. But you promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. Lord, you're always there for us, oh God. Help us, your people. 
trust in you, Lord. Help us not to lose our confidence and our hope in you, Lord, for we have a lively hope in you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, it's no time to give up, Lord. It is time to hold on, Lord. Hold on to your unchanging hands, oh, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we believe, oh, God, even in this season, Lord, that change is coming, oh, God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, even in this season, Lord God. Lord, we come to you with grateful hearts tonight. We come to you tonight with a heart of thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, that even in this season you are with us, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, that you know it all things, O oh God, that is happening in this season. Heavenly Father, O oh God in heaven, you are with us. You are still with us in this season. Oh God, you are still providing for us. You are still opening doors for us, Lord. Oh God in heaven. And though some, some may grieve, but Lord, you are still with us. And we are grateful tonight, mm. Lord. We are grateful. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh, Heavenly Father. We are grateful tonight, Lord. Lord, I pray, mighty God, in heaven tonight, Lord, for the church, oh God, for the body of Christ, oh God. Lord, help us not to become complacent, oh God. Lord, help us not to become weary tonight in well-doing. Lord, help us tonight, God, that we will not lose our first love, oh mighty God, but help us to rise up in the name of Jesus, oh God, to rise up, oh God, with the love that you have deposited in our hearts, Lord God, to rise up, mighty God in heaven, and Lord, do that which you have commanded us to do, Lord God, Lord, I pray that the church will be strengthened, dear Jesus, oh Lord, that we will not be weaklings, Lord, oh Father, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, we will walk in your strength, we will walk walk in your power. We will walk in your authority in the name of Jesus. We will walk in your love, oh God, loving one another, Father, caring for each other, oh God. We will walk in forgiveness, mighty God, Father in heaven. We will walk, oh God, according to your word, mighty God. Lord, my God, we will not allow unforgiveness to take over our hearts, oh God, but we will forgive each other, Lord, knowing that, Lord, if we do not walk in forgiveness, then, Lord, you will not forgive us, O oh Lord, when we cry out for forgiveness. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight, God, for the body of Christ, that, Lord God, we'll hold on to your unchanging hands in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that we will seek your face at all times. O oh God Almighty, we'll pray without ceasing in the name of Jesus. O oh God, we will stay in your word. O oh God, recognizing that we are living in the evil days, O oh God, Lord. God, we are living in trying times. Oh, mighty God, the adversaries out there, Lord, mighty God, seeking soul to devour. But Lord, help us, oh God, to submit to you. Help us to submit that when the evil one comes, we can resist him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are crying out tonight for your help and we cry out for your touch, Lord. Oh, God in heaven, breathe upon your people. Breathe upon your people, Lord Jesus, breathe upon us again. Breath of God, breathe upon us again, Lord. Oh, mighty Lord. Jesus, you are coming soon. You are coming for your cutlet bride. You are coming up for a triumphant church, not a defeated church, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us not to allow, oh, God, ourselves to be defeated by the enemy, Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, help us to overcome. Help us to overcome, Lord. Oh, Lord, your word can be overcome by the word of our testimony. Oh, God, and by the blood of the Lamb tonight. Help us, your people, to overcome, Lord. Lord, we choose Christ. We choose to live for you, Lord. We choose, Lord God Almighty, for your spirit to lead us, Lord. Oh, Lord, my God, where there is carnality in our lives tonight, Lord, we ask, oh, Lord, that you remove it. Oh, Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, and help us, Lord, to be spirit-led, Lord, my God, not to be led by our flesh, Lord. Help us to overcome, Lord, oh, God, the world. Help us to overcome sin. Help us to overcome the 
wait upon you, Lord. There are some things that we have to wait. Lord, sometimes we are waiting for a long time. Or it seems like we are waiting for a long time. But help us, Lord, to know that in our waiting, oh God, Lord, we can trust you. In our waiting, Lord, we can still worship and adore you. In our waiting, Lord, we must still read your word. Oh, we must still study your word. In our waiting, Lord, we must pray and worship you, oh God, for that's what you want, Lord. Oh, Lord, you seek a true worshiper tonight, oh God. Help us, Lord, that as we wait, oh God, we will rest in you, Lord. We will rest in you, that we will not worry, because your word tells us that we should not worry, Lord. Oh, God, we will not fear, oh God, because of the things that is around us, Lord. Oh, Father, because you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, Lord God, we will not be fearful, oh God, but we will continue to walk in faith. For when faith, oh God, is void, Lord God, fear, oh God, is evident. Where there is no faith, Lord, fear is evident, oh God. Thank you, Lord. That, Lord, my God, we will continue in your word. Because, Lord, faith comes by hearing. Lord, the more we go to your word, the more our faith is building you tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank the Lord. We thank you tonight, Lord. Mighty God, we lift up tonight, Lord, our leaders before you. Father God, our pastor, oh Lord, we thank you for him tonight, Lord. We lift him up continually before you tonight, Jesus. Mighty God, one who has called, oh God, to lead your sheep, to lead the flock, Lord. Oh God, in heaven, I pray tonight, Lord, that you will minister to him continually, Lord. Father, I pray for strength tonight, Lord, for our pastor, Lord, that you will guide his footsteps, Lord. Oh, God in heaven, steps will always be ordered by you, oh God. Lord Jesus, he's helpless without you. He can't do nothing without you tonight, Lord. And we pray, mighty God, that you will lead him, your Holy Spirit. You will be led by your Spirit at all times, Lord. Oh, God, I pray that you'll continue to walk in your footsteps, Lord. That, Lord, you will walk, oh, you will remain obedient to you, Father. Oh, Father in heaven, I pray, Lord, that you will fill him with your wisdom, Lord God. He will be, oh God, wise in the things that you call him to do, Lord. Oh, Father, I pray tonight, Lord, that as he study your word, oh God, Father God, to show himself approved, Lord, he'll be knowledgeable, oh God, of the things of God. Hallelujah. As he come to teach us, Lord, as he come to preach, oh God, the undiluted word of God. At all times, oh God, the Spirit will lead him. Your Spirit, Lord, your Holy Spirit will guide him and lead him, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for his help tonight, Lord, that Lord God in heaven, if there is any illness in his body, that Lord, the blood of Jesus, Jesus. The blood of Jesus will dry up every symptom of sickness tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for strength. Lord, that you will strengthen him physically. You will strengthen him, oh God, in heaven, spiritually tonight, emotionally and mentally, Lord. Father God, we pray tonight, Lord, for his marriage, oh God, that you'll continue to bind him, oh God, bind them together with cords that cannot be broken, Lord, that you'll wrap your loving arms around them as a couple, oh God in heaven, oh Lord, we are talking about, oh God, that Lord, you will be with them every step of their way, Lord, Father God, we pray for the gift. Oh, God Almighty, the gift of God to manifest, the gift of the Spirit to manifest in their lives, oh, God, that, Lord, you will give them, Lord, discernment, Father, to discern the things that they are to discern, Lord. Father, I pray, oh, God, that you will touch them, Lord, that you will comfort them, you will strengthen them. Lord, we pray that you will open doors to them, you will provide to them, Lord, in every area of their lives. Father, we pray for them, need to tonight, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, the means that you have given unto them, Father. We pray tonight, Lord, that, Lord, you will cover their ministry. Father God, tonight we pray for the reconciled family in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, oh God, in heaven, that, Lord, you will strengthen us, Lord, as your people. Oh, God, call us, Lord God, to rise up in the name of Jesus, in the power and the authority which you have given us, Lord. Lord, Lord we, are, we have become lazy. Lord God, I pray tonight, Father, for strength. In the name of Jesus, I pray that we rise up, God. For Almighty God, you have given us your power and your authority, Lord. You have given us your Holy Spirit to lead. 
Jesus, Lord. We are praying tonight, Father, as your people will rise up in the name of Jesus, doing that which you have called us to do, Lord. Oh, God, where we have become complacent, Father, we ask you to forgive us tonight. Lord, where we have become lazy, we ask that you to forgive us tonight, Lord. Oh, God, we ask that you to help us. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, to do your will, to do that which you have called us to do, Lord. Oh, God, help us that we walk continually in your love, one to each other, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight, God, that, Lord, we will we'll walk in unity at all times, Lord. We will walk, oh, God, in unity, Lord. We will not walk selfishly, Lord. Lord, we will look out for each other care about each other. We, we will we, care we, for we, each we, other. We will pray for each other, Lord. Oh, mm. God, I pray, mighty God, that you will find us, Lord, the rest of the family. Lord, the God, we pray, and oh, Lord, help us, Lord, Jesus, to live exemplary life, that the world will see us, Lord, the community that you place us in, Lord, they will see Christ in us, Lord. Oh, God, they will see Jesus in us, Lord, and they will want what we Oh God, because of the life that we are living, a life that is pleasing to you, Lord. Oh God, Lord, my God, that we will shine in this community that you, you have placed us in, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Father, that we will be led at all times by your Holy Spirit, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, that Lord we will become true witnesses, mighty God. We will evangelize, oh God our homes, oh God, our communities, the community that you place us in, oh Lord, that you have placed the reconciled family in, Lord, oh Father, we will evangelize, we will not be afraid to go out and to witness and to tell men and women, boys and girls, about Jesus, oh hallelujah, for you have called us to be witnesses, Lord, in the earth, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare, Father, that we, the reconciled family, Lord, Oh, Lord, that standing out, Father, Almighty God in heaven, because of the building, but because of Jesus Christ, that the standing out, Lord, oh, Lord, Lord, as we watch the people before you, as we place our hands in your hands, and allow you to see the fight, God, Father, I declare, oh, God, that this community that we are in, Lord, Lord, my God, we declare salvation in the name of Jesus, we declare salvation in this community, Lord. We declare that the souls will be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus as we go forth to tell them about Jesus. As we go forth in your power and in your life, knowing that we cannot do it ourselves, but the greater one who lives within us, Lord, is able to do it through us in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord God, in heaven that the souls will be delivered by the precious blood of Jesus. Jesus, oh God Almighty, so many things are happening. 
living God. But we, the church, must stand and we must turn the step of Lord. We, oh God Almighty, will come together to pray and be up for nations, oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus. Oh God, even as our election is about to, oh God, to come, Lord God, November turn. Father, that we'll pray. Lord, we'll pray, mighty God, and using our tongue, Lord God Almighty negative things, but, oh, God, we will lift up every man and every woman, oh, God Almighty, that is in the White House, Lord. We will pray, mighty God, that, Lord, the best person will be chosen, Father, to lead this nation in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, help us to pray. For when we pray and seek your face, oh, God, and be up for our nation, Lord God, you will answer. Oh, Lord, we are living in trying times, but we believe, Heavenly Father, that, Lord God, there is nothing that is impossible with you. There is nothing that you can do. You can deliver. You can discharge the yoke. You can pull the stronghold. You can save in the name of Jesus, to cause us as your people to rise up and begin to seek your face, to come together, Lord, that the church will come together, Lord, in unity, oh Lord, to seek your face and God. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask, oh Lord, tonight, God, that you'll intervene, oh God, as we prepare, oh God, as the schools are prepared to open, Lord, the 21st of this month, oh Father, Lord, we pray because when that in fear and doubt, oh God, Lord God Almighty, the children, the parents, teachers, principals, those who work in the schools, oh God, Lord, we pray tonight, Lord, that Lord, you will intervene. Father, we pray, God, for comfort tonight, Lord. Lord, we pray, oh God Almighty, for understanding and wisdom, Lord God. We pray tonight, Lord, that Father, you will go over to and you will intervene that you are the one, you are the one, oh God Almighty, that will open the earth and that your very presence will be in the name of Lord. Oh Lord, we claim your protection over every people. We claim your protection, Lord, over every school in you, Lord. We claim your, oh God Almighty, Father, your protection over our children, Lord. Oh Lord, and that we claim in the name of Jesus that those Going into the past, will be covered with your precious blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, Lord God Almighty, that none will come under the attack of this virus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare tonight, Lord, the teachers, oh God, and principals will be covered with your blood. Father, we ask that you'll cover the transportation, the school buses that will transport these students to school. Lord, we ask for the protection of the drivers, oh God, the school bus attendants. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we ask tonight that you assign your angels over every school in this nation. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask that you cover the parents. We ask that you touch your parents tonight. We ask that you remove every fear and every doubt. Oh Lord, some parents have to go to work. Mighty God, some still are in need of a job. Oh God, we ask tonight that you supply every need of time. Lord, I pray that you'll intervene. I pray that you'll open doors. I pray tonight, God, that you'll supply needs. Oh, Father, the needs of mothers and fathers in the mighty name of Jesus. The need for these children, oh, God. Father, some are without food tonight, though we may live in this country that have so much, much food. Oh, God, in heaven, but some tonight are without food. Some tonight are without shelter. Oh, mighty God, I pray that you supply the needs of these people who are without food, who are without shelter. Oh, God, who have luck in the name of Jesus. Father, we know you can do it. All power is given unto you, Lord, in heaven and in earth. You are God. You are the true one. In God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, thank you tonight, Lord, for answering us. We thank you tonight for the victory. We thank you tonight for the blood of Jesus. We thank you tonight, Lord, for what you are doing. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift up your name tonight, Lord, as we come together as your people, Lord. We come tonight. 
Tonight we have so much to give God thanks for. We have so much to give him thanks for. And tonight as we come, we come with a grateful heart. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord, thank the Lord tonight for his presence and for what he will do in our midst tonight. At this time, I just want to welcome our pastor. Put your hands together in your homes and welcome our pastor tonight as he come to teach us the word of God. Welcome, pastor. Praise God. Amen. God bless you, Minister Moulton. Yes, bless God. Happy birthday to you. Praise God. Thank you, sir. Thank Hallelujah. you, sir. Praise God. Bless God. Thank God for everyone that is present tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Well, hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have need that your hand had provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is your faithfulness, great is your faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have need that your hands are provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Thank you, Father God. Thank God for his faithfulness to us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Less than three hours before the day is over. Amen. God has kept us. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Many just dropped today in the in in the same <laughs> step that they make. Bless God. Amen. And they are no more with us. We thank God today for life. We thank God today. Amen. That we can call upon him. Amen. Praise God. We can worship him. We can acknowledge him. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God tonight for midweek. Amen. Fellowship in the word. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I greet everyone that is present tonight. Praise God. Online. Amen. Not sure who is online tonight. Praise God. But I greet you in Jesus' name. Bless God. Amen. Can I hear who is who is online tonight? Praise God. Good night, Pastor. This is Sister Narika. God bless you, Sister Narika. Thank God. You're home to be in the private study. Praise God. Amen. Good night, Janelle. Please identify yourself. This is Sister Janelle. Good night. God bless you, Sister Janelle. Yeah, thank you. Good to hear you tonight, man. Last time of your voice. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Yeah, man, I'm hearing you. I know you're hearing me, but I'm glad to hear you tonight. Praise God that you get the time to come on. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Anybody else? Vangelis Grant and Sister Money. Vangelis Grant, Sister Money for the Grant. The Simons. Sister, Sister. Beverly. 
Sister Beverly. God bless you, Sister Beverly. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Who else is there? Diamonds and Brother Ike. Simon, yes, and Ike. Bless God. Amen. Man from Portland. Amen. Yes. Yeah. God. Bless God. Anybody else? Sister Watson. Welcome. Welcome, Sister Watson. Praise God. Amen. Pray that deep sleep will fall up for you tonight. You can't stay longer in the yes, in this service. Praise God. Anybody else? Thank you, Lord. So uh, these are the only persons that are with us tonight. All right. Um, bless God. Amen. Amen. Just mark my register. Praise God. So anybody else I don't hear from, meaning that they are not with us tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. We, we want to continue. Amen. We want to continue in the word tonight. Praise God. From uh, Timothy, first to Timothy chapter one. First Timothy chapter one. Bless God. Amen. We stop at um we were at verse verse somebody tell me what verse did we stop at last week? Somebody was here last week. What verse did we stop at last week? Are we still there? Are you hearing me? Yes, Pastor. Yes, yes. Uh, nobody's responding to me. What verse did we stop on last week? What verse were we at last week? One, one, two, three. From one to okay, fifteen. Uh, we don't reach verse fifteen as yet. No, 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 no. one, verse one to three, at eleven, sir. According to the glorious gospel of this God, Amen. Amen. All right, we are at verse 11. 12. 12. We're at verse, we're at verse, we read verse 11 and 12 last week. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. Uh, so Paul is saying there should be sound doctrine according to the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Sound gospel must be preached. Uh, so he is thankful that that Jesus enabled him, Jesus strengthened him, for that he counted him faithful, putting me into the ministry. The last week, last week we talked about um, eight. Eight ways that God speak to people or God speak to us. Eight ways that God speak to us. So God speak to us through prophecies. God speak through tongues and interpretation. A still small voice. An audible, an audible voice. By angels. By vision. By dreams. By impression upon man's spirit. So last week, we, we conclude with a question that we want to start with tonight. We conclude with a, with a question uh, for those who were here last week. And we want to start with that question tonight. So the, the, the next scripture that we want to connect, that we want to go to, um, is verse uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1 was here we left off last week with First Timothy 1 and verse 12, we were looking at Hebrew 1. It was the last scripture verse. And we had asked a question. And the question was put out for us to discuss it this week. Hebrews 1 and verse 1, it says, God, who at sundry time and in divers matters 
spaking time pass unto the fathers by the prophets, that in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Amen. So the question that we, we, we asked last week that we're going to start with tonight is, here in Hebrews 1 and verse 1, the question is, when it said God has spoken to us through Jesus, what do we understand this to mean? Um, Pastor, can you repeat the question for me, please? Based upon Hebrews 1 and verse 1, when it says, God has spoken to us through Jesus, what do we understand this to mean? Do you all understand the question? All right, let me ask another question. Um, we look at eight ways that God speak to, to his people, God speak to us, that I just mentioned earlier on. And the question is, the second question is, is there any other way God speak to men? And talk about men, I mean people, any other way that God speak to people? Apart from the eight ways that we look at last week, and I just mentioned, is there any other way that God speaks to us? Yes, Pastor. I think God speaks to us through His Word, through the Bible. God speaks to us through His Word, the Bible. Yes, through the Bible. Okay. Yes, God speaks to us through his word, through the Bible, his word, which is the Bible. So what do we understand then from Hebrews 1 and verse 1, when it says, God has spoken to us through Jesus? What do we understand from that? How is God speaking through Jesus unto us? Um, I think that um, God spoke to Jesus through, through Jesus to us is that um, whatever that Jesus done, he do not by himself, but through the gift, the, through the anointing and the power of God. So whatever he do, whatever Jesus do, is what God told him to do and is what we are supposed to follow. Uh, very good. Is God still speaking to us through Jesus today? Is God still speaking to Jesus to us today? 
Yes, he is because before back then in the Old Testament, we would have to go through the priest to get to to get to God. But in other words, now in the New Testament, we have to talk. We have our prayers go to Jesus, and Jesus goes to God with our prayers. And whatever Jesus have gone through through the Old Testament, in the New Testament, is what we're actually following. So whatever Jesus did. In the New Testament, is basically what we are supposed to follow. I think. Amen. Mm, yes, yes, yes. All right. So apart from the eight ways that we look at last week that God speak um, to men, then we could add, we could add number nine. We could add number nine. Eight ways God speak. Number nine, as true his word. So when it says that God is speaking, God has spoken unto us through Jesus Christ. He's speaking unto us through Jesus Christ by the word, through the Holy Spirit. Now there are some scriptures that we're going to that we're going to um, that we're going to look at. That we're going to look at. We conclude. We we also mentioned last week. That although it says God has spoken to the fathers, but then it, by the prophets, that God is still speaking through the prophets today. Because the prophetic gift, the prophetic ministry, is a part of what we call in Christendom as the fivefold ministry. He gave some to the church, the apostle, the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. So God is still speaking through. Um, prophets. He's still using prophets today. Praise God. So he's speaking to us through Jesus Christ, through the word. Um, So Jesus is the word. Jesus is the word. John 1, St. John 1 and verse 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, verse 14 of St. John 1, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son of God. So although Jesus was ascended to heaven, amen, Jesus, the word, amen, amen, is still with us. And the Holy Spirit represents Jesus in the earth. What the Holy Spirit ministers, he ministers it not of himself, but he ministers it, take from Jesus and minister to us. The Word. So the Word, the Bible, is, is, is the number nine ways that God speaks to us. Now, because God is speaking to us from the Bible, means that we must study it and understand it. Let the Holy Spirit reveal to us the Word and what the Word is, what the Word is saying. Amen. So we can live by the Word. Uh, this Word is a covenant. This Word, amen, must become um, our daily food, that we must walk in it. Uh, just like how we prepare ourselves to know a subject in school, we may be able to, to pass that subject. Are we able to teach that subject? Uh, we must get to the place where we know the word of God. We study to show ourselves approved unto God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, but rightly divided the word of truth. A Christian that does not study the word, a Christian that does not know the word, is a weak Christian. Is a Christian that will not have the weapon of the word to fight against the enemy. When the enemy come up against your mind and the enemy come up against your life and he cast different thoughts against you at the battlefield of your mind, if we do not know the word, we'll not be able to know to stand up on the word to defeat the enemy because it is the word that is going to defeat the enemy. Because even when we are ministered unto and strengthened through fasting, we need the word. We need the word to overcome the enemy. Uh, so without the word, without the word, amen, we, 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 are, we, we, we are lacking. We must sit at Jesus' feet like Mary so we might have the word. Jesus said, 
this that you're receiving today, Mary, no one will be able to take it away from you. Now, First John, First John, uh, First John one and verse one. This is John, the disciple of Jesus, who is uh, writing to us. John one verse one. John is writing to us. He says, as First Peter, First John one verse one. He said, that which was from the beginning, that which was from the beginning. First John 1 and verse 1. Is everybody there? First John 1 and verse 1. That which was from the beginning. What beginning is that? Great. That which was from the beginning. What which beginning was that? From creation. Creation. Mm. And anybody else that which that which was from the beginning? Of the word. That which was from the beginning, the beginning of the word. Talking about Jesus here, the word. Talking mm. about Jesus the word. It goes on to say, which we have heard. So he's from the beginning. He's talking about Jesus, the word. When Jesus became flesh, the word, he says, that which is from the beginning. Because John is giving weakness to what he heard, what he saw, and what he handled. He said, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have heard, heard with his physical ears, his spiritual understanding that which we have heard is that which we have seen with our eyes with our eyes physical eyes which we have looked upon physical eyes and our hands have handled of the word of life talking about jesus talking about jesus so our, our hand have handled the word of life Jesus, the living word, the living word that John 1, verse 1 said, the word became flesh and dwell among us, and we be his glory. Uh, number, uh, that's verse 1. We're now going to number 2. Um, and verse 2 says, for the life was manifested, and we have seen it. We have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you, that eternal life, that eternal life. We're just talking about Jesus. Jesus is the is the light that lighted the life of men. That eternal life is talking about Jesus, who gives eternal life. He said, which was with the Father, with the Father. That's where the beginning of creation comes and beyond creation, which was with the Father at the beginning of creation and before creation, he was with the Father. He says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. In the beginning there, in John 1 and verse 1, then John 1 and verse 1. In the beginning there, it is, it is talking about creation. Creation, in the beginning of creation. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. God says, let us make man in our own image. In the beginning was the Word. So that's the beginning of creation. However, Jesus was before creation, the Father, as the Father was before creation. He says, and was manifested unto us, manifested unto us. So we go back to St. John 1 and verse 14, the word that was in, at the beginning of creation and before creation became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. John said, we handled up the word of life, which is Jesus Christ. Um, Revelation, uh, that's first, uh, first John 1 and verse 1, uh, first John 5 and verse 7, first John 5 and verse 7, um, it says, for there are three that be a record in heaven, the Father, the Word, that's Jesus, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, these three are one, one in purpose. One in unity. Um, Jesus, the Word. Revelation 19 and verse 
13. Revelation 19 and verse 13. Revelation 19 verse 13 says, uh, verse 13. And he was clothed, talking about Jesus here, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. His name is called the Word of God, speaking of Jesus. His name is called the Word of God. Jesus said in St. John 6 and verse uh, 63, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the written word, they are spirit and they are life. Spirit and life. Bless God. It is on the page. Amen. Praise God. But it can become life to us. Bless the name of Jesus if we believe it. If we understand what it says. And who the word says, say, say that we are. Amen. It can become life to us. That same word that God spake at creation and said, let there be light. When that word become the quickening word in our heart, in our, in our mouth, we can speak that same word. Amen. Praise God. And Jesus says, you shall say to your mountain, be removed and it shall be removed. So God is speaking to us through his son, through the word. He's speaking to us through the word. Bless God. Now, none of us should, should, should seek out a prophet to give us a word. None of us should seek out a prophet to give us a word. We don't go to prophetic conference to get a word from God. Amen. You want to get a word from God, you go to the Bible. God is speaking to us through his word. Bless God. And the word is Jesus. These words are inspired word of God. So we go to the word. When a prophet speaks to us, it should be a confirmation of what God already spoke to our heart through his word. Jesus said, you search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. As uh, that's St. John 6. Search the scriptures, for in them you find life. As thing is St. John 6, 64. In them you have life. In the word you have life. If, if When we eat food, when we eat our natural food, we have a life. We have health. We have strength. If we don't eat the word, we are not going to have life. We don't meditate upon the word. If we don't study the word, if we don't hide the word in our heart, we are not going to have a life. We are not going to have strength. We are going to become a sounding brass and a tinkling symbol. The word is necessary. It is necessary for our daily life. It is necessarily for our daily growth. It is necessarily necessary for our for our our endurance. Without the word, we cannot endure. The word that fall upon good soil, Amen. It endure the sun. It endure the heat. It en it endure persecution. Amen. Because it fall upon good heart. So the word is important. It must become a part of our daily life. Not once in a while. Not only on a Sunday morning. The word must become a daily part of our lives. A daily part of our routine. So Jesus speaking to the church. Jesus speaking to the church of future revelation. In St. John 16 and verse 12 through 15. St. John 16 from verse 12 to verse 15. St. John 16, Jesus is speaking to the church. Um, so this is how God is speaking to us through Jesus. Um, this is how God is also speaking to us through Jesus. St. John 16 verse 12 through 15. This is Jesus here speaking the disciples and speaking to us. St. John 16 and verse 12. Say, I have yet many things to say unto you. I have yet many things to say unto you. He's saying to the disciples, 
but you cannot bear them now. So, there were things that Jesus could not tell his disciples at that time because they could not bear it. So when was he going to tell them these things that he could not tell them at that time? It was after his ascension that the Holy Spirit continued to reveal those things to the disciples that Jesus said he could not tell them at that time. Verse 12, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? Verse 13, how be it? When he, when he, so the Holy Spirit is not a it. The Holy Spirit is not a it. When he is a person, when he, the Holy Spirit, or the Spirit of truth, he's called the Spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of truth. When he, the Spirit of truth, is come, is come, he will guide you into all truth. So, so when we go to study the Word of God, we must go to study the Word of God prayerfully. Because we are reading and we are studying, we are meditating, so that the Holy Spirit will guide us into truth. Because there are so many spirits of error that is out there. Right? So many spirits of error. And, and the conveyor of these dress nicely and they speak nicely. Right? So we have to approach the word of God prayerfully so the Holy Spirit will teach us the word of God. Praise God. So the, uh, it's a the spirit of truth. It's, a, it's come. He will guide you into all truth. So there were things that Jesus had not said to his disciples at that time, but he was going to um, mention these things to the disciples, guide them into truth through the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. So the Holy Spirit, amen, is present in the heart today. It's present in our midst. The Holy Spirit live in our bodies. That's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And he's supposed to guide us into truth, into all truth. Now, if we don't open the word, the truth, if we don't open the word, if we don't open the word of truth and seek truth and search the scriptures, and set our heart to know the will of God and know the heart of God. Then the Holy Spirit will not be able to guide us into all truth. If we don't come to Bible study, if we don't come to, amen, when the word is being broken and the word is taught to hear, uh, to hear the word, to understand the word, um, then we are not going to know what is truth. We are going to be in a place like Pilate who asks, what is truth? Amen. We want to know the truth. Because when we know the truth, the truth shall make us free. The truth shall make us free. For he shall not speak of himself. The Holy Spirit shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. The Holy Spirit will show you things to come. The Holy Spirit will reveal things to us, things that don't happen yet, things that the devil plan against us. Amen. Things that God has in store for us. The Holy Spirit will tell us of things to come. He will teach us and that we'll understand the word, that we know. There are many Christians that don't go to the book of, don't read the book of Revelation. Because see, it is going to take the Holy Spirit to teach us and to show us what is a revelation here. What are the things that is to come? The Holy Spirit is going to teach us. But if we don't go to the Word and prayerfully study the Word and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to us, just as the Holy Spirit revealed to Paul, Galatians 1, revealed to Paul, amen, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ and the will of God, Bless God. Then, then we are not going to know. He said, whatever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Verse 14. He shall glorify me. The Holy Spirit shall glorify me. So whenever you hear a prophecy, 
and the prophecy is glorifying a man, then it is not of God. The prophecy is supposed to glorify Jesus. Because when the Holy Spirit speaks to a prophet or a prophetess, whatever that is spoken must glorify Jesus. Now, whatever the Holy Spirit speaks is taken from Jesus, is ministering to the church, and that is to glorify Jesus. Whatever your person talk and all they're talking about is themselves, amen, it is not of God because it's not glorifying Jesus. It is glorifying the person we speak in. Verse 14, he shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, in other words, I'll receive from me, Jesus, and shall show it unto you. The Holy Spirit is the revealer. The Holy Spirit will show it unto us. He will take of Christ or from Christ. He will show it unto us. Verse 15, all things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore, said I, that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. He shall show it unto us. That's the name of the Lord. Praise God. So the Holy Spirit will glorify Jesus. So today, God is speaking to us through his word. God is speaking to us through his word. And if we don't know the word, the enemy, watch this. If we don't know the word of God, the enemy can conflict us with bad dreams. Because we don't know the word. Amen. The enemy can terrorize our life with dreams. And we are confused. And we don't know what is happening. And we don't know what to do because we don't know the word. Amen. Hallelujah. The devil can deceive us with miracles. Amen. Uh, because we don't know the word. Well, Matthew 24 tells us that there are those who are going to be deceived by miracles in the last days. Hallelujah. Bless God. Amen. The devil, hallelujah, amen, can deceive us when we don't know the word. We have to know the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was driving in Jamaica, and when I came here, and I decided I was going to get my license, I had to learn the road code here. Mm -hmm. The road code here is different. All right? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. In many ways, some Jamaica have to learn it. We drive here on the right hand side, as you know. Caribbean, we drive on the left. You have to study and pass it. Bless God. And then you have to do a road test. Hallelujah. I, I you know, <laughs> listen to me. So, so, so I have to fight, get that book, and I have to learn the, the, the road code. So therefore, um, and I have to seek to drive by the road code. If, if I don't drive by the red road code, if we don't drive by the road code, then we can be penalized. Bless God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to know the word. We have to get into the word. We have to we have to have an urgency to come to Bible study. We have a, have the urgency to read the word by ourselves. There are some things we I read by ourselves that we don't get. Bible study is the place where to understand the word. And I pose a question tonight and nobody answer until after some minutes. This um Nerika um responded. Bible, Bible study is to discuss the word because we are going to come upon situations that if we don't know the word, we can become confused by the devil because we don't know what the word says. Because when the devil starts to quote the word, just like I quote the word um, to Jesus, if we don't know what the word says, we're going to say, boy, that's all like the word of God. Right? And we're going to do opposite to what the Word of God tells us to do. And we're not going to know that it is not, it is not Jesus who is speaking to us through the Holy Spirit. So the Word speaks to us. Um, the word, Salvation came through the Word. Romans 10 and verse 17. Salvation came to the Word. Our faith, rather, came through the Word. 
faith came through the word. Romans 10, 17. Um, Romans 10, 17. Faith came through the word. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So when we read the word of God, faith comes to our hearts. When we listen to the word of God, thought or preach, faith, the word builds faith. Word builds faith. So if we're not reading, meditating in the word, we're not studying the word, we're not listening to the word, um, our faith will not be built. The word builds our faith. Jesus is speaking, us, speaking to us through his word. Faith, um, salvation comes through the word. Romans 10 and verse 9. Salvation comes through the word. Uh, Romans 10 and verse 9. Let us, let us read that. Um, Romans 10 and verse 9. Uh, let me see what. Let's read that one. Um, Romans 10 and verse 9. Acts, Romans. Acts, Romans. 10 and verse Nine. Nine. Um, verse nine. What it says? It says, verse nine. That is when if thou shalt confess. Verse eight. Uh, verse eight. Sorry, verse eight. Romans ten and verse eight. He said, but what said? The word say is this. Word is near you. Now, if your food is near you. If, if 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 your husband call and says dinner is ready and bring it come put down beside you or your wife or whoever you go into a restaurant and they bring the food and put beside you if you don't partake of that food your body is not going to benefit from that food so the word is near us right the word became flesh and came down among us when when Moses received the word of God God said to Moses. Uh, tell the people, tie the word around your neck, put it up on their breast, up on their heart, put the word up on your doorpost, put the word up on your gatepost. That means every time they're going in, they see the word as a reminder. Oh, God, Almighty. as they go to the door, the word is there before them. Hallelujah. When they're going out, the word is there before them. The word is near us. We have the word. Amen. Let there not be a famine of the word of God in our lives. Uh, let there not be a famine of the word of God in our lives. Because the word is near us. Right? <laughs> uh, it is near us. He said, even in your mouth. Now, if we don't come to Bible study and we don't study the word of God, then the word cannot be in our mouth. Because before the word can be in our mouth to speak it, the word has to be in our heart. The word has to be in our heart. Now, question. Question to all of us for us to participate here. If the word has to be in our heart before we can speak it with our mouth, how do we put the word in our heart? By studying it daily, sir. Reading and studying it daily and meditating Read. on it. Amen. Reading it, studying it, and meditating in it day and night. Psalm 1, Psalm 1, I think, verse 3. Meditate in the word of God day, day and night. night. And Psalm 1, it says, that man who meditates in the word day and night, amen, he shall be, he shall become, oh God, he shall be, he shall become, hallelujah, a tree planted, planted by the rivers of living water. So if we don't meditate in the word day and night for the word to get into our heart, Bless God. We're not going to have any stability. We shall be like a tree, rooted and grounded. Oh, bless God. If the word is not in our heart, we're not going to have stability. We are going to be weak Christians. When the wind comes, 
and the storm come. We are going to be blown down and mash up. Hallelujah. Jesus says, I, I show you who is a person who, who is standing on the word, who the word is in the heart, and who is walking in the word. He, he, he's like a man who built his house upon the rock. Yeah. And when the wind come and the waves come and beat upon it, bless God, hallelujah, wind and wave get tired and just get quiet, and the house still standing. But the man who does that, meditates in the word, and walk in the word, obey in the word of God, Hallelujah, the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, like a, he's like a man who builds his house upon the sand. Hallelujah. Right? He builds it upon the sand. So he builds it quicker because he's not dig deep until he got onto the rock. Yeah? yeah. Build quicker. But when the wind come up and the waves come up on it and begin to beat up on it, it crumbles. Yeah. So what Jesus is teaching there is that the person who does not have the word in their heart by meditating in the word and studying the word and reading the word. Amen. When tribulation comes, when the wind and the waves of life, the troubles of life come against and beat upon our lives, oh God Almighty, amen. We are going to fall. We are going to crumble because our lives are not built upon the word of God. We must meditate in it. We must study it. We must read it. We must listen to the word. That's why it's important as much as possible. We must we must come to Bible study. We must come to the house of God where the word is taught. Wherever the word is taught, we should come. Amen. Online, we should come. Get the word. Get the word in us. Because a day is going to come. Amen. When we may not even have the physical Bible to read. But the word has to be in our heart that we can stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. The word is near you, even in your mouth. Meditate on it. You say, and in your heart. So we meditate upon it. Now, believers, uh, let me say this to every one of us. Every one of us believe as believers. Just like when you used to study your English, English textbook. Just like when you used to study your science textbook. All right? That is how we're supposed to study the word of God. There should not be a believer in the kingdom or in the body of Jesus. Amen. That cannot quote even one scripture. All right? So we should be able to quote the scripture. We should be able to say what the scripture say. Amen. And say what the truth of the word says concerning whatever topic. And amen. And that we walk in it. We're not just quoting, but we walk in it. Hallelujah. So as 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 your shepherd, I I listen many times. I listen I I listen to I listen to the church. I listen to everybody. When you get up to speak, if you get up to testify, if you get up to whatever you get up to do, you get up to moderate, or you get up to whatever you get up to do. Even when you get up to pray, I listen to the church. I listen to the church. If I hear the word, if I hear the word, and I'm not talking about just word of the English language. I'm talking the word of God. If you are not praying the word of God, it means that you need to get more in the word of God. Hallelujah. If you are if you're worshiping and we're not hearing the word, you need to get more in the word of God. If you're moderating and we're we not hearing the word, you're just talking words, then we need to hear more of the word of God. Amen. We need to study the word. Amen. Like we're studying our science book. Jesus studied the word. Jesus knew the word. When he was 12 years old, he sat in the temple, reasoning with the lawyers and doctors. And they marveled, where did Jesus get all this knowledge from? Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. And watch this. He did not have that knowledge while he was in heaven. Because see, every Jewish boy after study the Torah, Hallelujah. By the time they reach, they just heard it. Amen. They must know the word. Jesus knew the word at age 12. It shows you how important the word is. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. When we testify, amen, we must hear the word coming forth. Thank you, Jesus. Don't talk about the devil is on your back and, and, you, and you, you're, you're shaking off the devil. 
We want to hear the word. Use the word. You must study the word that you walk in the word, that the word is now in your heart. So the word is in your mouth. Amen. When you speak, it's the word, the word of God that is coming forth. Ah, the word that builds faith. Hallelujah. Jesus cast out demonic spirit with his word. With his word. He is the word. Ah, so therefore he cast out demon spirit with his word. So therefore, amen, we have to know the word that we can cast out demonic spirit with the word. When the spirit of depression is coming against us, we know the word, we can use the word. Only the word can drive away the, the, the spirit of depression. No tablet you can get from your doctor, amen, that can deliver you from depression. It is the word that is going to deliver you from the spirit of depression. Because the devil wants to bring depression even upon the Christian. We have to know the word, guys, a spirit. Amen. The devil wants to bring suicide to Christian's life. I can't understand when I hear that Christian, amen, commit, sui- commit suicide. I can't understand that. All Christian could commit suicide because the word is not in the heart, the word is not in the mouth to deal with the spirit of suicide when the spirit of suicide come up against them. It is the word. Jesus drive out the spirit with his word. The word needs to be in our heart. Jesus said, out of the heart, the mouth speak. What is in the heart, that is what is going to come forth. If no word not in the heart, no word is not going to come forth. No root, no fruit. No root, no fruit. If we are not abiding in the word, yeah, we cannot be a fruit. No word. Hallelujah. No word, no victory. No word, no victory. Hallelujah. We just don't want to live our lives and just talk nice words. We want to talk the word of God because the, the revelation is said that the apostles, the disciples, amen, that were persecuted, uh, overcame by the word and by the blood of the Lamb. They overcome by the word and their testimony. They overcome by their testimony, the word, by the blood of the Lamb. So, question here. In Revelation, when it says, I think 12, 11, if I'm, if I'm remembering right, uh, when it said that Jesus, when it said disciples overcome, with their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. What do you understand that to mean? When it says their testimony, they overcame by their testimony. What, what do you think, what do you understand that to mean? When it says they overcome by their testimony, and the other part says, and by the blood of the Lamb. What do you think, what do you understand to be their testimony? By their testimony, by what they have been through and how it has strengthened them, and also by the blood of the Lamb, because God is because Jesus died upon the cross, and you know, we have a remission of sins. Okay, praise God. Anybody else? Anybody else? When you say they overcame by the, because many times, many times we're testifying, and we say the word of God says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. When we are testifying, yeah, but what do we understand that to mean? When it says they overcame by their testimony. And the word that they speak. Alrighty, the word of God. By the word I speak, the word of God. Yeah. Anybody else? Do, do you think that they overcame their testimony when they testify and say, one day I was saved and one day I was lost and Jesus saved me? Was that the testimony that they overcame by? No, 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 point. That was not a testimony that I was here by. So many times we use, many times we use this scripture, Revelation, I think, 12, 11. 
Um, back me up, Miss Granny, that is the right text. Yes, in relation to it, I think. Yes, it, it, we, we, we generally use it in our testimony and says they overcame by their testimony. Our, our, the person who is leading will say, everybody testify, because the word of God says that the, the, the disciples of Jesus overcame by their testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. So get up and testify, because you'll overcome by your testimony. <laughs> no, sir, it's by the blood of Jesus Christ that you are overcome. You are overcome. Yes, but it's also said, it is also said by their testimony. Well, I say, Evangelist Grant here. Um, yes, go ahead. I, 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 my understanding of this is that when they were faced with death, uh, they stood by the word of God and what they believed in. Um, so. Uh, their testimony would be their belief, their belief in the word, their confidence in the word and what the word says. And so when the, t when the time came, um, when they were faced with death, um, they did not consider their lives or anything because their confidence was not in their life per se, but their confidence was in the word of God. Yes, exactly. Their confidence was in the word of God. Amen. So when it says their testimony, uh, they're talking about, you know, they weren't testifying to those who were going to kill them to say, one time I didn't have food and Jesus provide food for me. That's not the testimony they overcome by. They overcame by the word of God. They overcame by the word. Their testimony was their weakness of Jesus, that is Lord. Their weakness that Jesus is the resurrection and the life, and they know that they have resurrection and life in Jesus, though they are going to kill them. So it, it, they, they overcame by their word, their testimony that Jesus Christ is Lord, their testimony that, amen, I shall rise again, their testimony that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he's the resurrection yeah. and, and the life. The word of God was what yeah. was their testimony. So if we don't have the word, Amen. We cannot overcome except with the word or through the word. Because we overcome by our testimony, by the word, our weakness, and by the blood, and by the blood of the Lamb. So the word of freedom you know, is in the Psalm, this is Psalm 119, 119 and verse 9. It says, Oh, shall a young man cleanse his ways? Is by taking heed to the word of God. So the word of God washes us. We have to know what the word of God said for the word to wash us, for us to believe, understand what the word of God said for the word of God to wash us. Amen. Psalm 119, verse 11. He says, Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. So what that is telling me, if the word is not in our heart, we don't know what the word says, we will not be able to resist sin and to resist temptation. Jesus knew the word. He was the word. So he uses the word to overcome the devil. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Sir. So if we don't hide the word, to hide the word, we have to meditate in the word. We have to study the word in order to hide the word in our heart. Because it is when we need it, it is in our heart that we'll be able to resist the devil. And when the devil quotes scripture, we can say, it is written. This is what the word of God says. Amen. Somebody want to say something? Yes, I was saying um, that the scripture, because the scripture point out, it didn't say by their word. It said by the word. The and word. Said by, by the word. Their testimony. So it's what they are testifying about the word, which is Jesus, or the word of Jesus. It said their word, but the word. The word that overcame by. Hallelujah. Praise God overcame by the word. Amen. So 
we have to hide God's word in our heart. So through meditation, it's on the word, and we put it of the word in our heart. So we're actually carrying the word. Amen. Carrying the word, walking in the word. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. A situation arise. Amen. The word is in our heart. We don't have to say wait till Sunday. Huh? We don't have to say wait till Sunday. Tell the devil beat you up and box it on Monday. I tell the devil wait until Sunday. Huh? Devil challenge you uh, Tuesday and corner you and cook you and you tell the devil to wait until Sunday. Wait until Sunday morning. No, man, you're supposed to have a word in your heart and fight the devil there from Monday and fight him from Tuesday and stand up in the word on, on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Bless God and, and Saturday. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And it comes Sunday, Sunday too. Amen. Sunday when you come, the house of God. Amen. You're supposed to be reporting victory. Amen. You're supposed to be reporting, bless God, the devil will take you on in a 15-round battle. Hallelujah. Bless God. Maybe even knock you down, but you get up back and knock him and Lord of mercy, cut him with the word, because the word is in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If we don't know what the word says, can we take heed to the word of God? No, sir. That was what we read in Psalms 119 and verse 9. How shall a young man cleanse his ways? change his ways. It's by taking heed to the word of God. If we don't know what the word of God says, we cannot take heed to our actions and our life. We have to know what the word says. Mm -hmm. I think Hebrews chapter, Hebrews, Hebrews, um, let me see, Hebrews, uh, talk about, let me find the chapter there, talk about it says, Take heed to the things that you have heard. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Take heed to the things that you have heard, lest at any time you should let them slip. Because if you let the word slip, and if you don't have the word, you are going to drift away. Hallelujah. People, persons backslide when they start to drift away from the word. That's the time they start to backslide. Because the word keeps us on course. Mm-hmm. So we have to take heed to the word of God. But if we don't know what the word says, we don't study it. Or we're going to take heed. Or we're going to know what to do. Or we're going to know how to live, how to walk. How to trust God, how to have faith in God. We have to get in the word thank you jesus hallelujah you know i there's a church i went to many years ago i don't remember exactly i think i was doing now in jamaica and i know they conduct their services anything whenever they can whenever they have a meeting whether it's sunday or wednesday everybody in the service have to get up and quote a scripture Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. Thank God for his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because we want, don't want to know all these times we are laboring in the word. Yeah. Bless God in preparation. Because the word prepare us to live this life. The word prepare us for heaven. We want to know that, praise God, you know, the word is near us. Amen. And we, are, we fall by the wayside. We don't want to be seed. We don't want the word to fall by the wayside. We want the word to fall upon good heart that will produce fruit. Bless God, to produce fruit. Not to become perfect, because none of us is perfect, but to produce fruit. Amen. The word does not produce perfection. The word produces fruit in our lives through Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, thank you for your word tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus. The same word that enabled Paul, according to First uh, Timothy 1 and verse 12, the same word that enabled Paul, amen, and you put him into the ministry. That's the name of Jesus. If Paul was not Father God, hallelujah, verse in the word, you would not have put him in the ministry where you put him to labor. 
Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. For you would not be able to feed the flock of God and to Hallelujah. give the oversight. He must be knowledgeable of the word. Thank you, Father God. Set our hearts to seek you. Set our hearts, Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To knock that we might understand the word and to be open unto us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We hide your word in our hearts tonight. Amen. And amen. Praise God. Bless God. Sister Monifa. Praise God. Please step in at this time. Thank you, Jesus. Good night, Hallelujah. Everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Please um note that uh the women's convention is coming up uh next week. Sunday will be the women's convention. If you haven't received your T-shirt. Remember, donation of twenty dollars for a T-shirt for the women's um, convention. Also, uh, members meeting is on the twenty-sixth of September. I will be sending out the phone number to call in to for the members meeting for September twenty-six, Saturday twenty-six, um, September twenty-six at. 7 p.m. Um, also, there will be a um, dress down for the young people on um, the fourth Sunday of this month as well. We have um, black and purple t-shirts if you need one for um, the young people department. It's $20 for a t-shirt. Um, also, um, Miguel's birthday is coming up on the 19th after today. Miguel's birthday um, is on the 19th. So those are the uh, announcements. Please bear them in mind. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, let sleep, rest, hallelujah, be upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your word tonight. Thank you for keeping us for the course of this day. Hallelujah. We lay, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, in your presence tonight. Hallelujah. To sleep, Lord. Bless us. Cover us under your blood. Deliver us from all evil, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Thank you for your mercy and favor now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. I pray the saving grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God, the Father, the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit, the comforter, rest your way and abide with us all. Now and for more. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 